Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we were supposed to uh, discuss how to add security to our application to uh, prevent like cheating or something. But I was going through some of the authentication API uh, for Firebase, and it's changed a lot since their, their previous version. So this is uh, the updated Firebase. And um, so I think in this video, we'll will update our code so it supports uh, what Firebase's uh, API looks like now. So to begin, let's first right away add some security rules. Just uh, so I don't think it we shouldn't we shouldn't move forward until we have like some sort of security in our application, right? So let's demand that the user is authenticated. So by the end of uh, this video, we'll have a user, user authentication. So auth uh, doesn't equal null, and we save that. And let's go to this page. And this is a really nice page. If, you're, if you use the old Firebase, it uh, tells you what's new, basically. So firebase.google.com slash uh, support slash guides Firebase web. So previously we had this um, sort of uh, information in our script tag, but it's updated to 3.0. So we're going to copy this and add it to change change our old script. And so that's one thing that changed. Another thing that changed, previously we had uh, a reference to our Firebase, but now uh, we have a configuration and uh, we're initializing Firebase with that configuration and we reference the database through here. So I think to access this, the same code with our uh, configuration data. We can go back to authentication. And at the top right here, we have web setup. And when it's finished loading, we can just copy our authentication. Uh, we can actually copy all of this. Um, Actually, I'm going to copy the entire script tag as well. And I'll place it right here. And for the Firebase reference, we'll have fbref equals Firebase dot database now dot ref. There we go. Oh, and let's add data in here because we want that to be the root location for our database. Now let's, now let's add some authentication to our uh, game. So before we load the world, let's uh, make sure that the user is authenticated. So we're going to use, um, rather than Google or Twitter, um, we'll authenticate them anonymously. So to do that, um, Firebase dot auth dot on auth state changed. So this is going to check the state of when when the authentication state of this user changes, this uh, callback function is going to be called. And so if user exists, then we know that the user is signed in, else user is signed out. So we want to load the game if the user is signed in. So we'll take this code and place it in here. And so if the user isn't signed in, we want to sign them in anonymously. We want, um, yeah, so Firebase dot auth sign in anonym 
must sleep and we'll catch any error and just print it out to the console error error.message there we go and we'll we'll just print out to the console if either case player is signed out and player is signed in player is signed in okay so if there's let's let's also give them uh, a unique identifier for their uh, player ID rather than uh, just pushing uh, data that, that we do earlier so over here in our game code what we did we just pushed some data to uh, the players uh, field and that was the ID but we don't want to do that so we want to give them a unique identifier based on their authentication status so we'll set player ID to user dot UID which stands for unique ID and this is data that Firebase gives us um, out of the box so this is going to be unique identifier for this uh, user across all uh, the Firebase environment so let's see what happens now so if they are signed in we go to load game let's see what else has changed oh we don't need this anymore this uh, Firebase reference up here and uh, this child child dot child thing it's it's sort of childish <laughs> so let's let's replace that with something more efficient um, like this so we can just put a slash there and append the player ID and the same with the rest of these if we can find them uh, let's see here and there are some more so we just append the uh, player ID same here add and we add the slash don't forget the slash and slash um and something else that changed with the new Firebase, instead of calling this getter function uh, key, they've just changed that to a, a property that you can access without calling a function. So we're going to remove the these parentheses around uh, these sort of attributes that have, that have changed. So can just call key directly key key and here and there's probably some somewhere but we'll catch that if, if it's in the console Let's go to the player real quick and see if we need to change anything there. I think everything here looks fine. Let's go to the player controls. Uh, if we go down in the check key state function, we have let's let's again update this uh, slash this child. You could do it either way, but I think this is preferred. It looks nicer also. So let's see. 
the update still works. This should still work. And this is fine. Let's run our application and see what happens. So go to main. Um, so let's see. Players signed out. We're having some post problem. This operation is not allowed. You must enable the service. All right. So we need to allow uh, users to authenticate anonymously. So in the authentication tab here in the sign in methods, we need to enable anonymous. So enable and save. And let's go back to our application. So person is signed in. If we refresh, they're signed in. Great. And we can move around. And let's make sure our data is being updated. It looks like it is. If we go here, looks like it's updating as we would expect. And if we close this, nice. So um, in this video, we basically just uh, changed some code, updated, updated it uh, to meet the uh, new Firebase uh, API. And this is a really nice uh, page again, this guide, if you are coming from the previous Firebase, or even if you're new, on to, to see what changed. All right, see you in the next video where we'll uh, discuss more on securing our application.